Hi friends, welcome to Spirit Says So, my beautiful Capricorn friends. This is going to be a compilation of messages from all of your angels, your archangels, your earth angels, all the angels in between, your ancestors, late loved ones. Let's see what we have. You're more than welcome to fast forward ahead as I have many decks that I'm going to be pulling from, but let's go ahead and get started. And I hope that you are all doing well. Spirit, can you please provide those collective messages from all of our beautiful Capricorn's angels? What do the angels need them to hear? What do they need them to know at the time that our Capricorn is drawn to this reading? Thank you. I don't know where my manners are right now. This is drawn from the Archangel Power Tarot. This is the Tarot of the Divine. And I'm going to ask Spirit to please provide the collective messages from angels for our beautiful Capricorn. We're going to ask for four cards from this beautiful deck. Messages for the highest good only. Thank you, Spirit. I'm so sorry. returning subscribers thank you so much for your support you already know that I don't edit my new visiting viewers thank you so much for the opportunity please go ahead and hit that subscribe button spirit please continue to provide divinely guided messages from all of the angels the archangels the earth angels all angels in between for our beautiful Capricorn when they are drawn to watch this message. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? And I'm gonna ask for six cards from the Light Sears Tarot. I do appreciate your patience if you are sticking with me. I absolutely love using multiple decks and I only do it when I feel drawn to do so. And where we have many angels and the possibility of many messages coming in, there's a need for many oracle decks. Spirit, would you please continue to provide divinely guided messages for my beautiful Capricorn friends. What messages do their angels need them to know? What do they need them to hear? That is the Oracle of the Fairies as well. My man is I know a very good man is, this is the super attractor. Oh, I'm catching up. I appreciate your patience, and I hope I'm somewhat entertaining. Spirit, please continue to provide divinely guided messages 
for, uh, for our beautiful Capricorn friends from all their angels, their archangels, earth angels, and all the angels in between. Please continue to provide divinely guided messages from the angels of our Capricorn friends. What do they need to know when they are drawn to this reading? First one that's going to be turned over is from the healing of the angels. Thank you, Spirit. Please continue the same intentions from all the angels. What do they want and need our Capricorn friends to know? Next time, I probably would have flipped the whole thing over. So, we have romance. All right. And of course, romance is about loving others, but it is also about loving yourself. Let's continue. Amber, give it to God. Take a deep breath and on the exhale, release this situation to God for healing and answers. All right, so perhaps you're going through something right now. And Amber, Jim would be really good to behold and assist you with releasing your concerns and putting them in the hands of God. When I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Now that makes a lot of sense because I know that collectively my Capricorn friends are very organized people. You, you like to definitely have things in order and you like to be in control of your surroundings and yourself. Inner child, huh? The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. That is an absolutely beautiful card. Look at her playing with the little fairies. Yeah, in Capricorn, I believe that that's very very like you to not really take time for yourself and release that inner child. You do need to love yourself. This may be still connected with something coming in for you too. We're not quite there yet. <clears throat> Strength. Okay. So you have the strength card, and in this strength, instead of the lion, you have the lamb. But 
you have a bit of lion in you. And with this ruby, I feel that's a ruby heart. You may have had a situation or a concern possibly with a Leo. Maybe not. Maybe this is something you've had a concern with your inner self. But perhaps you've had a romance with a Leo or you may be thinking about moving forward with a romance with a Leo. King of Swords. All right. So yeah, so being the king, you are very much, you feel the need to be in control. I feel like right now you are in control, but maybe there was a moment where you weren't, or maybe there's a moment that you know is gonna be coming in that you're not gonna have any control over, and you've been really thinking about it, analyzing, while trying to maintain your control and your compassion for others, which the King of Swords sometimes may not be very considerate of other people's feelings because he is an entity of logic. All right, let's see. Nine of Cups. So, you are a very happy person, generally. You typically do have everything aligned the way that you want it, the way that you're normally, the way that you normally flow in life and what you receive and what you give with your love, your spirituality. You're very balanced emotionally, typically. And you may still be. But I feel like something's to this inner child here. And I feel like you've been really contemplating something. Okay, so now we have the Six of Swords. So this is the position that could be relative to your past or your very near future. This is a situation where perhaps you need to take your thoughts in a different direction. And maybe you have in your recent past. So again, this I'm about to find out how this is going to affect this reading. So your recent past, and again, this goes with how you normally feel. You have been in the sun position in the recent past. Now, of course, that could literally mean that you've come from warmer areas. Maybe you were just on a vacation and you got yourself a tan. But spiritually, emotionally universally, however you are connecting, your angels are saying that recently you have been full of life, ideas, you've been successful. I feel like people have always gravitated towards you, you're very friendly, but something's put you off and separated you from that. Maybe made you possibly leave let's see all right so your potential future could be the five of cups which just means that you're not going to be focusing on what you still have good in your life but that's where your intuition and your choice comes in you have to make that decision on how you're going to look at this Either your cup is half full or it's half empty. And if you make certain choices, you're going to be looking at it like it's half empty. So you're going to kind of have a 
eh attitude. But your angels are saying, look at this glow behind you. You just got to turn around and get back to feeling full and happy and content. Give it to God. Give it to God. That's the direction you should go into. Don't go in the wrong direction that you're not going to be releasing. Don't, don't keep things to yourself. You need to release your inner child. You need to express yourself. And this may be romantically. Maybe there is someone that you've been holding out with regards to giving messages. But this person has made you feel very vibrant, very good about everything around you. Um, they just enhanced your normal, loving, caring, compassion nature, but they've kind of put you in a position where you're balancing your strength and your patience, perhaps with yourself and your heart. You're not used to your heart being tugged as hard all right, let's see. So, Three of Cups. Yep. You do normally have a very good outlook. And you do have people gravitate towards you. And you gravitate toward others alike. You have a very good friendship. Close-knit you can tell each other anything and everything. And these very well could be your earth angels. Because we do have them, if you weren't aware. Um, but you have a very strong connection with your earth angels. And your attitude through everything. Again, you, you still try, no matter what, you're still trying to maintain yourself, maintain your normal, I must have control of everything around me self. Um, and that's where the struggle has come in, I believe, with your thoughts. The nine of coins. So others do see you as being someone who is experienced and wise, very grounded, very happy. Everything around you just flourishes. Everyone around you. I mean, <laughs> you see how that beautiful bird is looking right up to him. And that wonderful smile. So that is definitely how others see you as well as your angels. They know that you are a very grounded, very spiritual, experienced, skilled person. The Ten of Cups, yes. So the Ten of Cups is definitely something that all of your angels are saying you have the potential for your future. And with all of those cups, <clears throat> This is coming back to romance, so you you are looking to make a life with a special someone, and that someone may be already be in your life. But right now, the message and messages coming out from your angels and your earth angels is that they do see that this connection that you have or will have in the very near future is going to be fruitful and you do have the opportunity for commitment for family for a very emotionally stable life and all of these people coming out of the water these are all your angels and all actually all of the people that celebrate you Everyone that you have connected with spiritually, emotionally in your life, they're going to come to celebrate this 
wonderful union with you. So, bells and whistles for you in the future. And with the two of coins, oh my goodness, my cheeks are hurting now. So with the two of coins, Capricorn. All right, I know this isn't gonna resonate with everybody. I know a lot of you are probably over children. You know, I know I am. I'm in grandma stage. But this, this could be a grandma, but I feel like this is because it's very connected to commitment, love, romance. You are going to be balancing children and your life, your home, your love. You're going to be balancing everything and it's going to be such a joy for you. Nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. All right. Nine of Gabriel. So Gabriel is Archangel Gabriel. And I know many, if not every single one of my beautiful Capricorns, because you're all intelligent. Some of you may not be aware that Gabriel, Nine of Gabriel, is Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Gabriel is the Archangel of good news. Brings news from our Lord, our Creator Himself. And stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. The environmental activism part I immediately got a strong, strong hit with the word hint. Hint, hint. Environmental activism. Now, I feel like your fairy godmother is telling you to release your inner child. Okay, you're, and you're gonna need to. You want children, you want family. Um, but don't stay locked up in your head. Definitely head in the right direction and allow now in with the six of swords, you're in the boat. No one's really rowing it here in this version with the late seers. And I'm so sorry for shaking in this version. You are allowing spiritual guides. And in this instance, it could very well be this reading that you are seeking guidance from to help you decide what direction to go into and that's fair enough um your angels are definitely saying that you have been the vibrant self and you're either missing love or someone's just broken off with you or maybe you're thinking about breaking it off with someone else but you you do need to continue to reach out spiritually, hook up with the people you love, the people that are close to you, that know you, that can finish your sentences for you. I don't know why that just popped into my head. Your earth angels are telling me to say that. But above all, definitely give yourself to God. Let God guide you. Go with your in intuition. Go with your gut. Gabriel is saying get involved in environmental activism and which is a wonderful thing anyway because being in tuned with your environment is very important to be grounded spiritually and it also helps with the mind and your body. You can get a lot from this. So my beautiful Capricorns you have it in you you have the faith keep the faith romance is going to show its face Archangel Gabriel saying get involved with activism and that is going to put you in the right path and make you look at things 
in a different light. That's going to fill that cup up for you, baby. So I hope this reading resonated. If it has not, that's okay. Not everyone will. If it didn't, please check out one of my other videos. Perhaps you know someone that this may resonate with. Feel free to share this video. Please like this video. Go ahead and leave a kind comment if you, if you will. And until next time, my wonderful Capricorns, take care. Bye.